top five animes to look out for of spring of this year. At number five, we got Moshoku Tenshi season two, part two. A lot of the fans were disappointed with part one. I was a fan of it. The story was good. It was a bit slow, but it was a nice chill little, you know, building character arc, a little bit of knowledge in the background. I enjoy that stuff every once in a while. But I know in, in part two, that is going away, it is picking back up. It's going to be great. I'm excited to watch it. I hope you are. At number four, we have reincarnated as a slime season three. Now, the last season came out back in 2021, and we really haven't had much from the slime since then. It was a movie that came out that was pretty good, but I'm excited for this next season because we're supposed to have some really big fights in this one coming up. I can't wait. At number three, we have Kaiju number eight. Now, if you're excited about the fact of monsters versus humans in like conventional style, not really conventional, but like futuristic weaponry versus like giant kaijus, now this is the one for you. What's cool about this one is taking a different look on anime in general. It's no longer like that teenager that super powered up by some old man that taught them how to fight. This one's actually a middle-aged man that just got infected by something, uh, some kind of parasite. And now he's a kaiju and he has to split himself between being human and being a kaiju. And the story's going to be good because I'm sure it's going to be one of those things like, oh, am I a human or am I a kaiju? Which side should I fight for kind of deal? I don't know. But anyways, I'm excited. I can't wait for this one to come out. I think the animation is going to be sick. And of course, at number two, we have My Hero Academia Season 7. I can't believe we're at season, season 7 already. It felt like yesterday I was just watching Season 1 for the first time and had low expectations because I didn't know what to expect. But now I'm so hyped for Season 7, especially after the last season. I'm actually still drying my tears from the last season because of that whole friendship thing. They took that to a level that was actually really, really, really impressive where it wasn't so cheesy and corny. So I'm excited for this next season. Expect more from my hero, what you would normally expect. Big fights, big emotions, and big outcomes at the end. So my hero at number two. Now, at number one, I'm sure you saw this all coming from a mile away. We have the Demon Slayer Hashira training arc. I'm super stoked for this one. Big, big, big action coming up in this one. Actually, this Saturday, the movie's coming out. I'm going to go watch it with the fam. I'm excited about it. I miss out on anything. Do you think my order was screwed up? What you, I want to know, what are you excited for? Tell me about it. I'm, I'm always open to hearing about different animes and wanting to watch different things. Anyways, much love. Y'all take care. Have yourself a beautiful day. Peace.